In this video, we will learn how to create Google Quiz. Google Classroom is a digital hub where students and teachers can engage and collaborate. You can create user-friendly quizzes and assignments along with supporting materials in just few clicks. Google Classwork is an easy way for students and teachers to engage, assign, and complete coursework. You can also use these forms to create surveys, essays, and more. To get started, open your Google Classroom. I suggest you create Google Classroom for each section before you begin with this tutorial. If you have not created a Google Classroom, please check the link in the description box below. Once you are in a class, click the Classwork tab and click Create. First, select Topic. This will organize your weekly plan. Add Topic. For example, Quarter 1. Week 1, Quarter 1, Week 2, Quarter 1, Week 3. Arrange the subtopic bar chronologically to make it more comprehensive. Again, click Create and then select Quiz Assignment. Fill in the necessary data. Title, Example, Quiz Number 1. Instruction, Example, Read the questions and answer comprehensively. Click the blank quiz to customize your quiz in Google Forms. This opens your quiz in a separate window. This is now your Google Quiz Form. Click the title field to edit the name of your quiz form. Let's change the blank quiz to Quiz 1. You can also add description to the title. Let's say, answer the following questions in capital letter. Before we start with our first question, Make sure that the first untitled question will be student's last name. This field is very important to identify the learners. On the right side, select short answer. Click require. Next, untitled question will be student's first name. On the right side, select short answer. Then click require. Do not click this answer key because this item is non-graded. We can now start our actual quiz. To change the type of test, click the drop-down menu on the right. You can change your questions to short answer, check boxes, drop-downs, grids, dates, or time. Let's have multiple choice for question number one. In the untitled question, type which of the following is not a characteristic of a researcher. Click the Add Option portion. Intellectual Curiosity, Criticism, Prudence, Intellectual Honesty. Click Answer key, then select the correct answer. Assign the number of points and click Required. Let's have fill in the blanks question, but to be answered in multiple choice. For question number two, in the untitled question type, complete the statement. According to Comerin of 2002, her research is a scientific investigation of phenomena, which includes collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of facts that link man's blank with reality. In the Add option, type Expectation Speculations Curiosity Knowledge Click Answer key Then select the correct answer Assign the number of points or points for a given test And click Required Let's have matching type In the Untitled question, type In column A are the field of study, topics to be explored in research, and in column B are the institutions or agencies. Match column A with column B. Select multiple choice grid. Rows and columns will appear. Type in row, irradiation, feed additive for shrimp, compressive strength of concrete. Type in column. DPWH, PNRI, CIFDEC, click Answer key, then select the correct answer. For irradiation, 
The correct answer is BNRI. For feed additive for shrimp, the correct answer is sieve deck. For compressive strength of concrete, the correct answer is DPWH. Assign points, click required. Let's have short answer question for number 4. In the untitled question, type What problem is being referred to by the picture below? Since we need to upload photo for this question, click this photo icon and click browse select the desired photo open then wait until uploading is done select short answer click answer key and type oil spill note that oil spill must be in capital letter as stated in the instruction at the end of this video you will know why it's necessary to write the answer in capital letter. Assign point. Choose two points. Click required. Let's have essay for number five. In the untitled question, type What is the importance of research in our daily lives? Select paragraph. Do not click answer key since this part is subjective. The teacher will individually read and score this part of the test. Assign point. Select 8 points. Click required. Then done. Click this icon for theme options. You can select header for your quiz and there are so many themes to choose from. Choose and click the theme. This is how your quiz looks like. You can also select theme color, background color, and font style to make your quiz form more appealing to the learners. Then, if you want to view your quiz form, click the i button to preview. You can also customize your quiz through the setting button. For general tab, you can see the following details. Collect email address. This is not so necessary so do not check. Limit to one response. This is very important. You need to check this so that students cannot repeat their responses. For presentation, type confirmation message. Example, thank you. Your response is recorded. Then click save. To finalize and attach the quiz form, click send. Then select this link button. Then the URL will appear. Click shorten URL, then copy. Return to the main quiz tab. Then click add button. Select the link and paste the copied URL. This is now your Google quiz form. You can now delete the blank quiz. On this side, you can attach the uploaded quiz to your other virtual classroom. Total points is 20. For due date, example, August 24, 2020, 5 p.m. For topic, select quarter 1, week 1. Finally, click assign. Your students can now view your Google Quiz form. When your quiz is ready, it appears in a list under the Classwork tab of your class. There, you can also see how many students have turned it in. Click View Assignment to open a more detailed view. What if your answer is oil spill in lowercase instead of oil spill in uppercase? Is your answer correct? The answer is no. The Google Quiz form will mark your answer incorrect. When checking, the system will not consider oil spill in lowercase and oil spill in uppercase as the same answer. That's why. Make sure to write in the description the right student's answer 
in uppercase. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. There is always something to learn. Up next, how to answer Google Quiz Form.